Hello, and welcome back again. In this episode of How to Overcome Artist Block, we take a look at drawing triangles. It seems like a very simple thing to do, but it does work. If I feel like I'm having a hard time drawing, I don't know what to draw, and I feel a bit stuck, I start drawing triangles over and over. I'll just let my mind think about some things and relax a little bit. And it's very simple and straightforward. You can draw entire triangles. You can connect one line to another one and draw half of a triangle. You can turn this into different patterns of triangles that maybe make up an entire image. Maybe you could do an entire portrait of just triangles and make it abstract. The pen that I'm using here is the Micron 0.05. The paper that I'm drawing on is really cheap printer paper. Nothing special. So, don't be too worried about your supplies. I mentioned that before, and I'll say it again. So yes, just keep repeating the pattern over and over as many times as you want. You can sit down and do this drawing and practice for maybe 5 minutes. Sometimes that's all it really takes to get through that artist block and to find new ideas and new things to draw. And another thing I like to do when I'm trying to get through artist block is to just draw patterns over and over. I'll keep repeating that pattern and then it'll give me an idea of something to draw. For example, I might, maybe I'm working on a portrait drawing for a long time. And I'm really tired of working on that drawing over and over. So I'll grab one of my sketchbooks. Or maybe a piece of paper and I'll just start doodling things on it. A lot of times I just start drawing random shapes and it ends up being some weird, strange mass of random objects and doodly things and all this stuff that just comes from my mind and just pours onto the paper. Most of the time I have no idea what it is. I'm not really sure what I'm going to draw. I might have some things on my mind or things that I'm thinking about throughout the day. Sometimes that might show up in my drawing. You know, I could be drawing something that is completely abstract and out of nowhere I'll start drawing a part of a face or I'll start drawing an animal or maybe something else that was related to what happened that day and when I get to the point to where I've been doing so much drawing throughout the day that I start to feel burnout, out I do these quick little practice doodles to get through the artist block you can pick any shape that you want really it can be triangles circles lines and you can just keep repeating that pattern over and over I remember a few years ago, I had a point to where I really, really got stuck on artist block. I felt burnout. I wasn't even sure what to draw anymore. Drawing was always so easy for me as far as how it, it just came to me naturally in, in that I never really ran out of ideas when it came to drawing things. And so it was always just really fun to draw. I could sit down with a piece of paper. I wasn't worried about trying to make it perfect. I wasn't worried about the quality of the paper, the pen. I was just focused on then and there and that moment and having fun with it. And from then on when I started to do these little exercises, I really broke through that. I think I was stuck on artist block for maybe a good half a year maybe somewhere around there but it was pretty frustrating and it occurred to me that I was trying to be too much of a perfectionist I was trying to make everything completely perfect and in the long run that can hold us back when we want to get better at drawing I mostly do abstract drawing I mean, I do portrait drawing, I do some realism, um, a little bit of painting, but I've always enjoyed doing 
just doodling. I find it more relaxing and it really helps me take a lot of things off of my mind and keeps me from worrying about things so much. And it's just a really relaxing thing to do because I don't have to feel pressured into trying to make everything resemble something. I mean, I can if I want to. I could draw faces or animals or maybe nature in it, but I don't always have to do that. And that's what I like about doodling and drawing abstract. I can make it whatever I want. And I don't have to be worried about it how it's going to look in the end too much. I mean, I've had times where I've accidentally spilled ink or gotten food on a drawing, and it wasn't really that big of a deal because I was just having fun. And if you don't take the time to enjoy what you're doing in the moment, you're going to get stuck on artist block. And then you're going to come to a point to where you don't feel like drawing anymore. And then you lose that creativity to keep drawing. So I hope these exercises and these doodles help you with getting through artist block. If you have any suggestions or ideas of anything you'd like me to um, give an example of, such as other shapes or other things to draw for getting through artist block, go ahead and let me know what those are. And I'll cover them in a video. And if you have any other art related questions, go ahead and let me know about that. But I hope you enjoyed and hope you found this helpful. I'm going to go work on some doodles. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.